Well, Griggs is very excited to host our community today um, and display many of the things that our children do each and every day in school. Technology is an integral part of what we do. Years ago, our textbooks, right, the chalkboard, and uh, even um, the overhead projectors became commonplace with our teachers and it, well, they were used as a resource. Um, technology today is fundamental in our classroom and part of good sound educational practice. Um, what you'll see, what you, they've seen today are student projects using technology. They've seen students bringing their own devices to our school as well which is a big part of what we do. They've also seen um, children using OneDrive, uploading writing to their OneDrive, sharing assignments with their teachers, sharing assignments with their classmates and projects with their classmates. Uh, they've seen classroom blogs, they've seen QR codes, any number of um, interesting and 21st century projects. Well, we've had a wonderful opportunity today to bring some community leaders and uh, even some of our own people from inside the district to look at two wonderful schools, uh, Griggs and and uh, Burns and I've learned things today. I mean it's been amazing as the technology director here to see oh, okay. the things that we're so putting in the schools and to see the things that are happening in the schools. Uh, just left uh, Griggs sure Elementary where we saw the small kids uploading documents to OneDrive to the cloud and we're here today uh, right now at Burns watching kids uh, uh, program, run robotics, uh, we're looking at them uh, running tablets in the classroom, answering questions about Edgar Allan Poe, and all of this in a, in a tremendous uh, environment where they have plenty of network access and internet access, and it's exciting, very exciting. Well, one of the exciting things that I heard, they were learning the new software programs, and not only am I a state representative, I'm also a business owner. So making sure that people are prepared in their workforce and that they've used the applicable programs um, like Microsoft Office Suites and, and things that they'll be using in the real world, that's what I want to see as an employer. And then um, I did love, I know this is old fashioned, but I loved them saying that they were taking a typing class. So, you know, that's something practical that I think for a few years had gotten lost. The, you know, people were doing the hunting and pecking. So now we're back to learning how to show them how to type and that way that can help them in their applications and what they do every day. So you know in my position I spend a lot of time uh, at the central office working and, and looking at the things that we need to do, listening to my staff and I don't get a chance to get out very often but today uh, getting out and looking at all of the tools that we've put in place and seeing the principals working with their teachers to utilize this and, and seeing the training that my staff has done uh, it's, it's very, very rewarding and I know that this is not just happening at these two schools, it's happening all over the county and that's, that's very rewarding and I know that uh, it is about the kids, it is about what they do, it is about uh, getting them engaged with technology and uh, sometimes we don't realize that until we get out to the schools and see and I'm glad we're able to show not just uh, myself and others here today but also business leaders and, and the, the community. We are creating college and career ready 21st century learners and that's our primary goal and technology needs to be fun a fundamental part of each and every classroom.